let's say I pick a time when I was caught cheating on a test in elementary school. I bring that up into the present. I see myself sitting at the desk with all the other students around me, the teacher at her desk in the corner, and the students scattered about the classroom. There's a girl next to me who I know to be pretty smart, who's not covering up her answers very well. And I take a glance over to see what she's written down for one of the questions I'm having trouble on. I'm also aware at the same time that I'm sitting on my couch with a pen and paper taking notes of my session. And I do my best to maintain that awareness as I not only recall the past event, but put it all around me as if it's happening now. Now I start feeling a little of the excitement and fear of being caught, as my eyes wander over to what the girl is writing on her test paper. I feel a bit warm, just as I did during the incident. I feel that fear in present time, and I keep feeling it until it fades away. One of the students yells over to the teacher, pointing to me. Hey, he's looking at someone else's test paper. I see the teacher is angry, and I sense that anger too. I also experience the feeling of blame toward the other student who told on me, the feeling of shame for having cheated, and my regret over this incident occurring. Now, the incident is still there. It has not faded into the past. I recall thinking to myself, I'm never going to cheat on a test again. I hold that postulate in my head until the intensity of it fades. Usually, when I reach that point of exploring the incident, the incident fades away into the past again. And I would have to willingly recall it. I don't. It's time broken. But if it's still there, it's time to note differences and similarities between the incident and present time. I usually note things like, that room is larger than this room. That room being the classroom and this room being the one I'm in now. I say it just that way to myself instead of, it was a larger room. Can you see why? I may make such a statement like, it's spring here and autumn there. Or, it's nighttime here and morning there. But you see, I'm still using here to refer to my present and there to refer to my past instead of now and then. I note a few more differences and nothing happens, so I note similarities. I note that in both the present and the incident I'm sitting down. I'm wearing the same color shirt and so on, and all of a sudden the incident fades into the past. <laughs> 